Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to the latest match day preview. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Sutton United in League 2. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match preview, the latest one on the channel. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Sutton United in League 2. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with the channel and supporting the channel. It is greatly appreciated. It doesn't go and miss for sure. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. If this video has brought you to the channel, please consider clicking subscribe so you don't miss any future content. And if you are new to the channel, this is the format that will go through match previews. We'll look at previous meetings between the two clubs, current form across all competitions. I choose a Doncaster Rovers player to say a few words about and then we go to the opponents one to watch so I choose a Sutton player that I think could be a threat in tomorrow's fixture but if you're a Sutton fan watching please get who you think we should be watching out for in the comments down below and then we finish the video with three predictions the predicted team lineup thanks to FanHub the predictions league table that me and the family are doing there's a little update on that and then the score prediction the all important score prediction at the very end so without further ado let's get into previous meetings Donny and Sutton not faced off a great deal in our history. I can only find four occasions where we have faced each other in a league um, and we have shared, well, it's, we've traded blows in those four games with two wins each. Um, we have to go all the way back to 1999-2000 in the conference for the first two and they were, we traded blows there. 1-0 wins um, at home for each club and then last season in League 2, um, it was a 2-1 win for the Rovers and Sutton narrowly edge it on goal difference with a 2-0 win at their place. So um, home comforts maybe, two home wins there in our history. Um, so hopefully that's a good omen for tomorrow's fixture for us Rovers fans. We will see. Current form, it's a tough one to call this one. If we look at our last five, a little inconsistent for Donny with a win, a defeat, a win and then two defeats on the bounce. Sutton on the other hand, three defeats, a win and then a draw. So it looks like they may have turned a little bit of a corner, whereas us, we're a little bit inconsistent still. For the Rovers though, good wins at home to High Flying, Gillingham and Crawley in recent weeks. Only problem is they've not been backed up with the results away from home. Um, unfortunately with defeats at Barrow, Stockport and Mansfield in the league trophy earlier this week. We do seem to be improving game on game um, and by all accounts we're unfortunate not to get something um, against Stockport or Mansfield earlier in the, in the games this week. Defensive errors coupled with dreadful officiating over this season mainly um, is making obtaining any sort of consistency really difficult and tough for Donny so hopefully the officiating improves but more importantly hopefully the defensive errors do get ironed out over the next couple of games we've got some favorable fixtures coming up uh, but nothing is won on paper we've got to do it on the pitch hopefully as i mentioned earlier the home comforts tomorrow come into play and it's a good win for the rovers moving on to sutton after smashing now league leaders not county in the season's opener sutton have had a bit of a torrid time um with the, the league campaign <laughs> winless in 10 with nine defeats and one draw since that opening day win but this run of form did see them tumble down to 24th but last weekend the run was ended and it was ended spectacularly with a 4-0 thrashing humbling of Walsall and then that's been followed up this week with a penalty shootout win in the league trophy um, after a 0-0 draw at home to Crawley so maybe just maybe sort of have turned a corner hopefully it's a little blip <laughs> a positive blip for them and we bring them back down to earth tomorrow. Sutton do have the league's leakiest defence and it comes up against the fourth lowest scorers. There's three other teams um, below Doncaster who have only scored 11 goals. We've only scored 13. So fourth lowest scorers of the league against the leakiest defence. Will it be a chance for Sutton to get another clean sheet and a, and a huge, huge win at the bottom of the table? Or will Doncaster be able to exploit those gaps that other teams have found so far this season? For me, as a Rovers fan, I'm hoping it is the latter. On to play profile for this one, I've gone with Louis Jones, goalkeeper, one of our own. Louis Jones, he's been with the club since he was 12 years old. He made his first appearance, um, made his debut in the 2020-21 campaign uh, with a 2-1 win against Portsmouth. Earlier 
this season in the summer he uh, he signed a two-year deal and he has got very stiff competition in in Ian Lawler I think it's two decent keepers at this level um, and I think this competition for for the for the number one spot is bringing out the best in Louis he's had an opportunity coming in for the injured Ian Lawler I believe he was um, and his decent performances over over the recent weeks have put him in a really good position to potentially cement that number one spot so it's great to see him breaking into the team a lot more um, and showing what he is capable of so hopefully he has a good game and gets a clean sheet tomorrow if he's playing on to the one to watch for Sutton so I've gone with Harry Smith in this one um, 28 years old centre forward scored two in the last league game the 4-0 win against Walsall and this season he scored five across all competitions assisted one so he's joint top scorer for Sutton but he has provided a goal as well so his goal contributions this season for Sutton is top with six um, whereas Odafin, I think his name is. His name, his name escapes me. I don't think that's right. But he's he's scored five this season and no assists. So Harry Smith's got that that one extra goal contribution. So I think he's going to be a bit of a handful. Um, big, strong centre forward. Um, hopefully Oluwu Anderson, whoever's the back two, uh, the centre back pairing or the centre back three, which we've been using a lot recently. They're going to have the hands full tomorrow. Bags of experience. At EFL level and, and, and over the levels with 215 appearances, 55 goals and 11 assists. So for me, the one to watch for Sutton tomorrow is Harry Smith. But like I said earlier, you know your club much better than what I do. If you're a Sutton fan, let me know who you think should be on this screen right now. Moving on to the predicted team lineup, this is thanks to FanHub. If you've not downloaded the app yet, please go ahead and do so. Plenty of features to get your teeth stuck into. It's a really good app. I do recommend downloading it. I use it a lot for predicting the lineups and there's a few other little bits and pieces that I enjoy doing. Um, for me though, I've gone unchanged from my predicted team against Stock Stockport. Um, I've gone Louis Jones in goal, a back three of Oluwu, Anderson and Bailey, with Nixon on the right and Molyneux on the left, with a midfield three of Ben Close, Westbrook and Tommy Rowe, with Joe Ironside and Mo Farl up front as a, as a pairing which seems to be starting to build a bit of a relationship there. So. That may be the starting 11, it may not. I don't think I've got an 11 out of 11 yet, so don't trust me on this one, <laughs> but that's what I'm going with. Moving on to the predictions league table. So if you're new to this, me and the family predict the scoreline for every single league game. If we get the scoreline spot on, we get three points. If we get the outcome right, but not the scoreline, we get one point. Um, and if we get completely wrong, we get no points. And Saturday against Stockport, I went with a heavy defeat. We only narrowly got beat 1-0 and um, the rest of the family had quite a bit of confidence and went with draws or wins so that gives me one point and it puts us all on the same points six points for everybody so we're all joint first everybody's a winner <laughs> and it's looking like it's going to be one of those seasons where it is incredibly tight all the way through and um, so yeah hopefully this prediction that I'm giving is spot on and I get three points and, and pull forward um, away from Chris, Max and my dad and that takes me on to my score prediction. Um, for me, it was done and dusted before last weekend's result. I think the form that, that, that Sutton were in, I thought this is the one where we're going to get a decent win, uh, hopefully a, a, a lot of goals, get the scoring boots on and go away from the eco power, extremely happy. Um, but last week weekend's result has put a little bit of doubt in my mind. I'm hoping it's a flash in the pan. I'm going to stick with my confident prediction, but it's not as confident as it would have been. Um, home comforts, we've, we've shown what we can do against really, really good teams. Hopefully we can do it against a team in and around us as well. Um, and I am going with, like I say, a good result for, for the Rovers. I'm going with a 3-0 home win. If they'd not won 4-0 last weekend, I think that could have been a 4-1, 5-1, maybe something like that. But I'm going with 3-0 confidence in the lads. And hopefully it is a positive result. I'm not sure if there's going to be a match day vlog tomorrow because it is my stag do. So we are going to the football. We are going very highbrow. We're going in the box. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm match day vlogging or not. If I am, it will be uploaded on Sunday 
not Saturday night because I will be in a tangle and hopefully we'll be celebrating not only my upcoming wedding but a big three points for the Rovers. That's where I'm going to leave this one. If you've enjoyed it, big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.